Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome to another sourcing in our life. How's everyone doing? So what I'm going to do is actually show you guys a little something that Justin Baxter talked about while back in SourceCon. I caught his presentation on OSINT stuff. Really interesting stuff. I, I have a video actually on my channel. Um, and then my wife got sick, I got sick. We're better now, obviously. And I wanted to start making videos again. So let me share my screen. Which screen do I want to share? I want to share that one. And I'm going to talk about WebMe because I actually have used WebMe in the past and I had forgotten about it because it's been a while, but it's a, it's a social lookup tool. And it, I mentioned it on a, uh, the, my previous video with some other uh, lookup tools that you can use with OSINT stuff. So there's, there's a couple of tools there if you're interested in that. People finders, there's a whole, a whole list of those sort of things out there that you can utilize for free. But this is more of a social lookup. And let me just let me just try a general name here and see what we find. I don't know why I'm looking up Kevin Smith. Probably because I I just was watching some of his movies, but but as you can see, I mean, this is just a general search. I don't know if this is the Kevin Smith that I'm looking for, but it pulls up a LinkedIn profile, Twitter profile, Facebook, Instagram, yes, YouTube channel. So, and a lot of these are, are mixed. Like if you look at me, if you look me up, then you'll find like the keyboardist for the keys, uh, as well as myself. So it just depends on what kind of name you're looking for. Oh, there's Kevin Smith. That's the one I was looking up. So you can see it pulls in a conglomeration of different things, but if you're looking for somebody who's a blogger or somebody like that that i i didn't realize that it pulled more than just one profile so that's pretty sweet let me actually look up somebody that i know who should i pick up hmm, who should I, I, I guess i should pick up michael roman because he told me about i always like picking on michael roman because he told me about us phone book a couple years ago and it's one of my go-to tools nowadays that's more for um contact information lookup maybe no, that's that's pretty dark uh, obituary but yeah so that's that's him linkedin profile it's probably his twitter and instagram so and then just a bunch of random r random people that's not the roman i know maybe it is i don't know so uh, who else should I mess with? I don't know. Let me look. Let, let me look up a celebrity. I just want to see what happens when I look up. Oh, oh, server hang up. No, not server hang up. I've been getting that a lot today. I've had a lot of internet issues today, and I don't know why it pulls it into a different language. Um, who who else? Who else? Um, let me look up. Let me look up a a, a wrestler. I don't know if I spell his name right. But pretty, pretty sweet tool. Oh, he's a marketing lead. So if I was looking for John Silver marketing lead, I knew that would be the guy. And I can go in here and look at his LinkedIn profile. You look up his, that's probably the, the wrestler. I bet that's the wrestler. No, just a quick, easy tool. No, that's the, uh, yeah. So, I mean, oh, look. So great example because I have his his LinkedIn profile. Oh, he knows Brett. Hey, Brett. Oh, that's who I should mess with. Yeah, let's look at Brett. Oh my gosh, man, Brett needs to make more videos. I always liked watching his videos. And I'm going to keep saying that until he makes more. But he's he's going to be he's going to be picked on today. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I don't know why it pulls in. I, I guess it just, it's the one that I, I pulled in was a, a different language, but whatever, still works. I should have thought about Brett first, but yeah, so look, here he is. Oh, and look, it pulls my videos because I talk about him so much. 
Let me see if this Twitter profile. Let me see if this. Oh, let me see if this is his Twitter profile. I got to look at his Instagram too. And hmm, this gives me an idea. This gives me an idea. I wonder if anybody's built a scraper for this. Oh, oh, he's got kid, cute kids. And he likes beer. No wonder we get along. I don't know what's what what's what's up with that frog though. So you find out so much more about people when you look at their social profiles. That's KO. I know my wrestlers. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And of course, Facebook. He likes the blue hair. Brett, you get a lot of attention today because I'm feeling good and I want to show people some tools. Look, and look at this. I mean, look at this. Greg Hawks, Ryan. I mean, you can find an audience right here if you're looking for some nerdy stuff. Okay. Like, Look at all this wizard swords. Oh, man, this is this is great. I should utilize this more. And Andre, Andre is also somebody you guys should definitely follow. His videos are like programming, advanced type of nerdy stuff. But yeah, I I I like watching videos from from Andre too. So there's a play. The HR source and toolbox. Yeah, HR source. I don't know. I don't know why that's pulling up, but he must have tagged that in something. But Lots of tools on. I, I know this site pretty well. Shameless plug, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it and let me just let me just. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let me just see if I can take this further. Let me see if anybody's created a a recipe. I mean, of, of course, I've got to scrape stuff. I mean, I'm me. Let's see if we got anything. I bet no, those are my recipes. Nobody's put no nobody's built a, a a recipe to scrape all this great information. Um probably because well, no, I mean it's pretty uniform. I could probably pull all this into a spreadsheet and just go one by one and scrape them. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Oh no. That gives me. Uh, let's let's see what, what what I can do just to get started. Okay. Um, I want to do a page scrape. I want to create a new recipe. I'm gonna have to go to the recipe creator. I think. New recipe. Open cre recipe creator. Okay. Okay, I want to list a profile page. So I typically do the lists because I'm usually pulling a list of things, but this is a good example for the profile page. I want to do that. Okay, we'll do that. And let's see, add a new column. Like literally use my easy column finder. I want to pull some text in. We're, we're going to pull his name in. So I'm going to put a C, I'm going to put C, boom, got his name, name, full name. Okay, next column. <clears throat> um, I could probably pull in his LinkedIn profile. Let me, let me do the text first, just to make sure I know how to make sure this works. We'll do the text. Oh, I can pull his his job title. No, I want I want I want all of it. Do I want all of it? I would like item two. Confirm. And this might will be where we come into trouble because each of these is going to be different, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm just going to do a simple scrape today. Add column. Easy column finder. Well, let's do a URL. Well, if I click on this, does it pull me there? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Uh, 
I'll have to mess with this a little bit. Yeah, I might have to dig into this a little bit more. But I you say I just want to pull the information because I can. Oh, this Twitter, I can just look. I can just click it and pull it if I need to. Yeah, I mean that's his email. That's his LinkedIn profile. So. Um. Uh, let's see. Say so I want to pull. I want to pull in all these people though, just for good measure. Okay. I'll just pull them all of them. There we go. Ah, there we go. And so I'm just using this as an example. I'll have to manipulate this a little bit. Let me just see if I can pull um because the, I mean these are just screen names, so we can we can figure that out. Really, I'm just looking for an A. That's what I can do. Well, I've got to, I've got to mess with this because I'm just pulling the I'm just pulling the screen names right now. Because I think if I go in and dive in a little bit more, which would be kind of boring uh, for you guys to watch, I could figure it out. But I'm a little rusty on this. So, okay, so for example, I've just pulled in that information. Yeah, I pulled in that, pulled in that, pulled in his name, right? Okay, so let me save this. Um, I'm not gonna share this publicly yet because I'm still gonna make it. I'm gonna go in and refine it. I just don't really feel like diving into this stuff too much. So if I just scrape this in data miner, it'll pull up the information. Okay, I got I got one. Okay, I got his stuff here. Uh, let me go look. Let me go look for Roman again. And let's see. All right, and just scrape the page again. I got Romans. So that's one of the things I like about this new data miner is that I can go in and I can just do scrape page again and I'll pull in another person. So it's not as, as arduous as it was as going in, scraping it one at a time you can kind of do this progressively. So I'm gonna to continue to do this, but like I've got both of them right here and I've got all the people that are in that little section there. So definitely I need to go refine this a little bit. But what I'm trying to say is that this is a good tool for finding, for finding profiles outside of LinkedIn, outside of the norm. I mean, everyone, the, the ones that I've showed here, they all pulled the LinkedIn profiles. But if you're looking for more of a, a social presence, especially if you're looking for bloggers or vloggers or somebody creative like that, this is a great tool to use. And it's scrapable as I can show, as I've shown you. So, I mean, you have to look them up one at a time and I've been doing that more and more, but I'm gonna refine this and see what I can pull because I think I can get a lot of information if I just kind of get granular in this stuff and, and go more into the weeds, so to speak. So you can build this kind of functionality with a lot of other Scrapers, in fact, I would have used Instant Data Scraper first, but I don't have access to it because I'm, I'm behind a bank firewall. This is something that I can use on my work computer because we do have access to Data Miner and that's why I use it a lot, as, as you can see in a lot of my videos. But pretty interesting stuff. Definitely check out WebMe. Um, and just in case you guys didn't know, let me see if I can pull, because I did want to, because diversity is a big source, a, a big, a big deal as well with us here at the bank. And I don't know if everybody knows this, but there's a military filter on LinkedIn recruiter. And so I also wanted to show that I was gonna make a separate video, but I mean, why not show you guys now? 
Um, let me go, let me search literally anything. Let's Java engineer. Nobody's looking for Java engineer, right? Actually, no, I want to do a pneumatic engineer. I want to do a pneumatic engineer because I like rotating stuff. Okay, and so if you go to advanced search, I've already got it here, but if you go to advanced search under education and experience, you'll see military veterans. You can literally go in here, say yes, has US military background. And it usually pulls a small search, but I literally did this for software engineers and it was great because I had a diverse population um, focused in military, mil military veterans, because that's what I was targeting that week. Um, I wish they would have more diversity features, to be honest, because, you know, that's that's definitely, you know, diversity and inclusion is something that's an initiative here. Uh, but this is, a, this is a great example of some of the things that I've seen come up. Um, and I don't think I've noticed, I just, I was just randomly looking through some of the, the advanced uh, operators in LinkedIn Recruiter and I saw this, I saw that there's like a little military icon next to somebody's name. And it was like, what is that? Is that a filter? So, you know, even with the tools that we use every day, there's functionality coming out. Uh, and so if you if you see anything like that, definitely let people know because that that's a shortcut if you're looking for veterans, that's great. Yes, more of that, please. Okay, well, that's all I have. I'm gonna go work on this scraper, um, but thanks for tuning in. I will be making more videos. I just wasn't feeling well for a couple of weeks there, but now, now I've got my energy and, and, and my health back. So expect more, um, again, share and subscribe on my road to a thousand. And then, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's keep doing this. Lots of more content and, and different ideas spinning around in my head. Fortunately, when, when I was not feeling well, when I was sick with COVID, had a lot of time to think about stuff. So, um, with that, there's, there's more content, more different things we're doing. Um, uh, so, so again, thanks for tuning in, uh, please share and subscribe and we'll, we'll go from there.